Hey guys, welcome back to another video. For this one, I will be going over my second math trick, the other one being the math trick when one of the multiplication numbers, or a factors you can call them, which are the numbers that are in a multiplication equation, ends in zero. So for this math trick, it will be when multiplying with five. So there's two possibilities. The first one is when the number that you are multiplying with five is even. Okay. So, step one, so for step one, the first step is divide the number by two. Divide, the sign means number, number by two. Two. So the next step is whatever number you get when you divide it by 2, you have to add a 0 at the end. Add 0 at the end. At the end of quotient. That's the answer to a division problem, which will be the answer of whatever number you divide by two. So let's try out an example. So for the first example, I will be using the number 246. So five times 246. So the first thing you have to do is divide the number by two. And that's pretty simple because 2 divided by 2, 1. Two divide, 4 divided by 2, 2. And 6 divided by 2, 3. So that would be equal to 1, 23. Now you add a 0 to the end of this, and you get our ans we get our answer as 1,230. So this is so much easier than solving it like this. But let's solve it this way just to be sure that this math trick actually works. So 6 times 5, 30. 5 times 4, 20 plus 3, 23. And now 5 times 2, 10 plus 2, 12. So it does work because these are equal. Now, the second possibility when you are multiplying a number with 5 is if the number is odd. So this one has the exact same steps, except you have to first, for step one, you have to subtract one. And the last difference is, for when, on, when we get to the third step, is instead of adding a zero at the end, you add a five. So two divide divide no. divide number by two same thing here but except we added a step of subtracting one now we divide it by two now three add zero is what is here but for this one we have to add five as I mentioned earlier, at the end. So you're not like actually like adding, adding, just you're putting it at the end. So let's try this. Let's do five times 379. So first step is you subtract one. So when you subtract 1, you get 5 times minus 1, 378. Now you have to divide the number by 2. When you do that, you get arrow down here. You get 1 and then 8, 189. Finally, add 5 at the end. So when you add 5, 
you get 1,895. So this would be our final answer. Now, once again, let's double check. 379 times 5. So 9 times 5 is 45. 5 times 7, 35, plus 4, 39. And 5 times 3, 15, plus 3, 18. So we know that this is true because these two are the same number and they are equal. So this metric is pretty useful and it's helped me whenever I'm solving and I want to get the thing done faster rather than doing this long method, which sometimes can take a long time if the number is even bigger than this. So yeah. Please subscribe, like, and hit the notification button, and thank you for watching, and keep on watching, please.